All right, guys, welcome to episode 129 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button, leave a comment, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, man, go ahead, light your blunt, light your J, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, whatever the fuck it is that you're into, win. Whatever. All right, so go ahead and do that. We're here. It's a beautiful fucking Thursday. Beautiful Thursday. You know what I'm saying? How we feeling, Mob? How we feeling? How we feeling? It's getting kind of chilly out, man. It's getting chilly, man. That hoodie season's coming, man. That he's gone. People are gonna be fucking upset up north for about seven months. Our type of chili's like seventy. Yeah, nah. You see, motherfuckers in hoodies already when it's like sixty five in Florida. We're like, we we can't not deal even with that like seventy five, bitch. Yeah, it's already fucking cold. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what I mean? But it's it's pretty nice out. And yeah, I mean, no, nah, it's been beautiful out, bro, to be honest. Yeah, I can't complain, bro. I can't complain. Because sometimes you get tired of that hot, hot, humid shit, bro. Like, that shit's yeah, just overwhelming. That's, I feel like a fucking steamed crab, bro. A king crab being fucking cooked out there sometimes. You know, they rain on us and they steam us up. Facts. That shit Honestly, sucks. that's why eventually I want to be like a snowbird type of person. Yeah. Like, I want to be up north during the summer and stuff like that. Because it's hot, but it's a different type of hot. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, when the snow comes, bitch, I'll come to a house down here. You know what I mean? It'd just be fucking cool. <laughs> nah, that ass, bro. And fucking, uh, that's what Mike does, bro. Because Mike's he made a post on Facebook. He's like, yo, fucking, I'm coming back. When I see the, the, the leaves change, that's how I know it's my yeah. time to come back to Florida. It's gotta be cold as a bitch. Yeah, so he's coming hey, back. Hey, man, listen. Round of applause to the motherfuckers that live up north and go through the snow. You drive through that shit. You drive through the black ice. You got to shovel 20 foot of fucking driveway, 70 pounds of fucking snow out your driveway before you go to work. Like, that's ass, bro. Like, you got to get up two hours earlier just to scoop the driveway out, melt the fucking snow off your car, make sure your car ain't fucking dead and it's actually turning on and running. No, like, like I, oh my God. I believe like if you if you really like the cold and you like doing that, then you got a you got an ice box for a heart, bitch. <laughs> I swear to fucking God, bro. It reminds me of my ex, bro. Like she's like, it's like, oh yeah, I gotta do all this shit by myself. I gotta shovel this shit out on my own. I was like, damn, cause like that she was fool, telling how me. How about you just don't live there and you yeah. don't have to shovel none of that shit out? Yeah, how about you just fucking just not do it and just move back? Exactly. Like, but all right, if you want to live the hard knock life and and <laughs> Fuck that, bro. <laughs> I've always believed in working smarter, not harder. Yeah, me too, like, bro. For real, fuck all that. Like people, you know, like they call hard, us lazy for that. Yeah, bro. hey, you could call me whatever you want to call me. You know, they say like if you want to figure something out, give it to a lazy person because they're gonna figure out the fucking laziest way, Yo, the quickest way to fucking do it. All I want to say is shout out to the people that work in construction, bro. Hey, listen, man, <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause to the motherfucking <laughs> laborers out there that yeah. work in that fucking hot ass sun. Working for that foreman. They work for that fucking foreman, the overseer, the yeah. fucking slave master coming by. Yeah, bro. He used to be a slave master coming by on a horse. Now they come by in the F-150 they or F-350. Not even an F-1. They fucking hop in the crane with the AC and they're just nah, fucking chilling. Bro. That's that's like that's like the... Uh, the guy that uh, works in the kitchen for Massa. You know what I mean? Like yeah. He's a little bit more comfortable, but you're still a fucking slave. Yeah, it's true. I'm he's telling you, because when them fucking, when them when them big bosses, the fucking supervisors pull up, bro, these motherfuckers act like they're about to lose their fucking job. I'm like, bro, y'all, like, fuck that nigga. Like, yeah. you know, for real, bro. Like, it's, bro, like. It's not even that. It's like they have options, though. I mean, they don't have options. We had options. Yeah, a lot so of people like, don't have options, man. And that. But I feel like that comes down to making bad decisions earlier in your life. You know what I mean? If you make the right decisions, bro, you'll have options later on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to you're not going to X yourself out of a lot of things. <laughs> but at the same time, man, like, we all fuck up in life and shit, you know? But that sucks to put yourself in a situation where, like, you really don't have an option but to, like, just break your back for the rest of your fucking life. Oh, man. Nah, I feel bro. for you guys, bro. For real, for real. Nah, I'd rather fucking sell my ass. Before, before. <laughs> my dog said he'd rather fucking yeah. sell his gooch I'll, picks. I'll be a fucking. You, you see Magic Mike? I'll be Magic John, bro. Magic yeah, Johnny. No, I'll and be this bitch. Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo, <laughs> bitch, before I that reminds fucking me. go slave in the field. If I fucking, bro, that, re, that gives me fucking horrible fucking images, bro, of thinking of uh, Robin Big when Big went into the strip joint and he started fucking dancing and shit in his fucking hey, G string. Bro, my I was dog like, let his fucking. 
fucking Schmied gang. <laughs> And yep. them bitches went crazy, bro. Nah, bro. Rob was fucking dying. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious, bro. That's like fucking me and you he going was like, to the fucking... Nah, but it's like, yeah, like, I really do this, bro. You think I'm bullshitting, but let me show you real quick. Let me shake my and, wiener in this bitch's face. And he made some money, bro. <laughs> he made some fucking money. I'm not gonna lie. Rob threw, like, most of that fucking money. Yeah. Bro. He's like, yeah. <laughs> that's my dog, dog. I'm a support. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Imagine being that rich and not doing like not knowing what to fucking do. You just got to do crazy oh shit. Oh my god, that's just so fucking annoying. Like yep. you probably like being that rich probably gets annoying because you're like, what stupid shit are we doing today? No, nah, I really don't want to do, but fuck it. Yeah, like no, nah, I want to do it. I want to. I want to <laughs> teach. Nah, for real. I want to teach fucking Remy how to fucking ride on a skateboard. Yeah, that'd be dope. I think I feel like he just chew that bitch the fuck up. Though. Yeah, bro. Like literally, just, just like that turtle. That motherfucker. Y'all, listen, guys. I'm sorry. We're still talking about that because it was fucking vivid. You guys, listen. It was. It was a sad. It was. A I can't. Sad. Even, I don't have a fucking. I don't have a noise for we, it because yeah. it was so sad. We're, but I'm gonna tell, <laughs> but we I'm don't want to pod. Either. Yeah, no. Nah, but I'm gonna tell you what. Remy is a cold blooded killer. He woke up this morning and chose violence. Yeah. He woke up this morning, chose violence, and said, I'm catching a body first thing in the fucking morning right after the coffee. Yeah. Right? It wasn't this morning, but it was Tuesday yeah, yeah, morning. Yeah, but he, yeah. he chose violence. Bro. Yeah. He fucking chose violence. He chose fucking violence, and it was uh, it was sad. It was sad. I'm fucking... Uh, it was He's disturbing. so fucked up about it, man. I am, bro. I not believe it. That I'm, turtle was cute as shit. It was yeah, small. It was yeah. like that. It was a little baby. Yeah, and I was like, fuck, man. Because if it would have been the big one, I'd be like, you're a stupid ass turtle for letting that small ass dog kill you. Nah, for you're big as fuck. You're like 70 years old. You should know better. No, nah, no. Nah, Hide he, in your show. He's no, yeah. <laughs> no, that's what he was doing. The yeah, bigger I know, one. but it's like the baby one, their shells are soft. Yeah. Like if you touch them, they're actually really, really soft. Like, mm. like yeah, so that, he that. fucked his shit all the way up. <laughs> Yeah, I saw his head poke out, and then I was like, "Oh, he's still alive!" But then it was like his last poke. It was his last. It was his last poke. And you know what? You know what? My last fucking poke I'm gonna have at a, at a fucking. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, bro. It might be a cat, bro. Go ahead. What's up? Nah, bro. I had fucking a stomach virus or something, bro, from oh this Chinese food, bro. This guy hates China now. I'm not. I'm not, bro. I'm not eating Chinese food ever again, bro. If anybody had any experience <laughs> with Chinese food, please let me know. Yeah, go down in the comments and let us know because this guy said that he ate some shit. Would you have the lao mein? Yeah, I had the lao mein. Man, shit, fuck game, bro. Because like, <laughs> he's yeah. the one that told you to have it. Yeah, that's bro. why. Yeah, he, let me fuck this guy up. I was about to order fucking orange Man, chicken. Fuck lo mein. Yeah, I'd be ordering like the bourbon chicken and shit. That should be straight. Yeah, but, but you know what? It, what the fuck is a lo mein? I if I don't understand what the fucking name of the food is, I don't know. I don't I'm know. I'm a little they, hesitant to try it. Nah, but you know what? Shout out to Miguel because Miguel fucking he told me he don't eat Chinese food either. So now I get him. I think I'm done. You remember that fucking yeah. time when Jared fucking cooked chicken wings and it was raw and I ate it and I stopped eating chicken wings for years. Holy shit! Years, like, years, damn, bro. That's fucked. Like I just started eating. <laughs> Chicken wings again, like yeah, recently. Yeah, fucks you up, man. Yeah, so like, it's the same thing with Chinese. I'm probably it's gonna be a while, bro. It's like cheese. Like there was a point in time I couldn't eat cheese for a while. Yeah, no. Nah, and then bro. like now I'm like whatever about it. Or milk. I can't drink milk. I can have milk with cereal. I can have ice cream. I can have chocolate <laughs> but I milk. I can't drink milk. I can have chocolate milk. Yeah. I like I love chocolate milk, but I can't drink regular milk by itself. I love to dip fucking cookies in my in my milk. You feel me? And then throw the milk out. Yeah, I'd wow, fuck. I'm the, I'm the guy. Shit. I'm the guy that drinks it. Like doesn't drink the milk. He just fucking leaves the milk there, eats all the cereal, and then he dumps the milk. This guy's a wasteful fuck. I'm drinking all of that. Is shit. Is that OCD? I don't think that's OCD. I think that's just you being a spoiled fuck. Maybe. This for this first world problems, guys. That is a first world problem where it's like I don't even want the milk, bro. Like I'm just what? Gonna, Somebody I'm just, in fucking third world country will hit you over the fucking head for that fucking bowl of milk. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, I'll knock you out so quick for that shit. No fucking, bro, don't run it up, bro. Give me, give me that shit, bro. Give me that chain. Give me, bro. give me everything. Give me that chocolate milky guy on your hand, bro. Fat? No, I'm serious, bro. You piece of shit. You want the fucking? Nah, bro. Nah, but crazy. here, if they rob somebody, they're gonna be like, man, just give Yo. me everything you got besides the fucking drinks. <laughs> For real, give me, give me your chain, give me your wallet, but nah, I'm not gonna take that half, your food. half bottle. Nah, of water. I'm not gonna lie, bro. There was a, there was a thing we talk about Miguel, bro. Shout out to Miguel, bro. He fucking uh, we used to watch this shit called Criminals Gone Wild. It was like a real documentary. This nigga just used to go around with guys that were literally pulling armed robberies and shit. <laughs> I swear it was real shit. And it was this one guy that got fucking robbed, bro. Like, they took all his... Like, he was walking home with, like, groceries. 
He ain't even really had money. And they ran up on him. He's like, yo, give me all your shit. He's like, yo, please don't shoot, man. I got a family, bro. I got a family. And, like, there was people talking about, like, how it was fake a few years later. And that guy's like, hell no. They really robbed my ass. Like, that shit was... <laughs> he's like, I thought I was going to fucking die, bro. Damn. For real. Like, he's they, like, nigga, they robbed my shit. I don't know about anybody else, but I got fucking robbed, dog. I mean, you were riding with them, riding with doing licks and shit, bro. They were bro, like, you know what? All right, bro, fuck. they ran out of licks. Let's, bro, there was yeah. this one white guy, bro. I had me fucking rolling. He's like, yeah, you know. I just got tired of fucking struggling. <laughs> He's like, I got tired of that shit, man. He's like, I don't want to fucking rob nobody. So I just like breaking the cars and breaking the houses. This nigga broke in that house and stole like a whole Mercedes Benz, bro. He found like two, three thousand dollars cash. Took the keys, fucking dipped in the car, bro. I was like, yo. The nigga that was riding with him, bro, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> you remember fucking, <laughs> you remember that stupid show they had? It was like bait car. Oh, that show ain't stupid. That show is fucking hilarious. There was a few of them, bro, where I was like, nah, you deserve it. Nah, for real, Take bro. this guy straight in jail. Was, there was a couple of like, you're stupid. This you're... guy, bro, there was a guy that got away. Though. Yeah, he, he was riding around with the door open, and they're like, we think he th You were like, I think he thinks this is a fucking bait car. And the guy's just like, he knows. Riding. As soon as he saw the cops, he just fucking did. Smartest guy I ever saw in that yeah, motherfucker. That's funny. Because he's like, I'm going to take the chance, but if it's fucking bait car, bitch, I'm out. Nah, for real. <laughs> Nah, he's smart, bro. They're smooth criminals, you know what there I mean? Are some but there's some fucking dumbies. Dumb ass niggas. Bro, like, there was, like, fucking cash in the middle of the fucking console, fucking people leaving the door open. Bro, there like, was a, a bitch that fucking started selling, the, like, the fake laptop they had in the back of the car in, like, fucking two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> they hopped in the car, they fucking took off. She's like, yeah, fucking, I got a Toshiba laptop. I don't have the fucking charger for it, though. Honey, let me know. I was like, this nah, nah, but I think they, nah, they had some fake people, too. They had, nah, they had some. I think they're all fucking pieces of shit. No, nah, for real. <laughs> they, probably had, they probably ran out of fucking criminals. Maybe they... they I, bro, you never run out of You don't think anymore. so? Hell no. Hell All no. right, let's go to another town. Yeah, just, hey, you know, we were just in Arkansas. Let's go to fucking Wyoming. <laughs> let's just fucking let's get some states, fucking. Bro. I'm telling you, you'll catch them, bro. I promise you, they go to, bro. They go to Sanford. They're catching some niggas. No, nah, and then bro. they could go straight to D land. Then they'll catch more niggas. No, nah, they'll catch them. I anyway. swear, bro. You can leave your car running bro, right here at the gas I'm station. I'm telling you, yeah. yeah like they, all you got to do is move from city to city down a whole fucking state, and you're gonna catch motherfuckers everywhere. What do people expect though? Like when you steal a car, like some I niggas make. Right off that shit, bro. I know, but like back in the day when there was like no GPS and people can find and track their cars like that, yeah, there was niggas making like you gotta think about it, bro. Like if you're a 14, 15 year old kid and you get put on the game and you know how to steal a car, bro, you can make twenty thousand dollars in a weekend off of stealing like four cars, especially the type of car and the technology that they use. You seen that video of those two guys with the mask when they pulled up, they stole that Mercedes right in front of that guy's house and they did it with like a... a yeah, like no, a, that's now. But yeah. back in the day, like New Jersey still the leading, like the leading capital of stolen cars that are exported to other countries to be sold. Wow. I'm telling you, People bro, probably get banked for that shit. Nigga, it's bread. It's bread. Because there's about people that. that are going to pay top dollar. There's rich ass niggas in Africa, bro, that they're just like, yo, that's a brand new 745 fucking BMW, yeah, bro. Yeah, bring that I'm shit a, over. I'm going to pay fucking $35,000 right now cash. And somebody, the nigga that stole it gets five grand. The nigga that's fucking the two or three middlemen sp split the other 30 bands and the nigga got a car. Yeah. With no serial number, no nothing, but it's brand new. Brand new BMW. Mm. He was riding around clean, bitch. Yo, <laughs> That's how you think. Come on, bro. How you think Afghanistan got their fucking shit, bro? All the Iraqis All the fucking and shit. Toyota Tacomas nah, and shit. Nah, bro. We left them a they lot of shit. They got good credit. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, fuck them niggas. Yeah, we left them so much shit, bro. Now they're like. I'm going to be honest. I'm going I'm to just they're say. You know they're negotiating to become like an actual like, like government? Yeah. Like, I think it might happen, bro. I'm not playing with you. I think it might happen. Um, that's that's something scary. You know what, bro? Fuck Biden, bro. I'm going to say it right now. Hey, listen, look. Round of applause from a dog stating his motherfucking mind. I'm going to say it right now, Saying bro. his opinion. Fuck you. Flag us yo, if you want. Yo. Nah, man. Don't do that, bro. Don't but flag you, us, nah, but, but yeah. you know what? You we know should what? be able to give our opinion. Nah, but you know, yeah. That's our right as an American citizen, bro. That's in our constitution. God damn it. My dog went straight lawyer in that motherfucker. He yeah. started, I thought I was under arrest for a second. Bitch. I was like, damn. <laughs> my dog fucking. Nah, bro. You ever, have you ever been re read in your fucking rights, bro? That's scary, yeah, bro. Yeah, you're just looking at this nigga like, I don't know what you're talking about, but now I can't <coughs> sue you. Yeah, but police officers have to do that now before they detain you. Did you know that? Of course. That's because crazy. if not that, you know how many people have been caught with like, fucking bricks of cocaine or something and the cop didn't mirandize them or whatever the miranda rights <laughs> he
he didn't read him their rights. So by the time they get to the fucking courthouse, the cops like, wait, you didn't fucking read him his Miranda rights. I have to throw this out by law. Yeah. Like this is a non-valid case because he wasn't technically under arrest. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy. That's crazy. But people, be, people be that's like, oh, it's cop. not about it's not about freedom. This is not about freedom. Well, bro, this is how America was founded was 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 freedom. You can't take away our guns, take away our rights to, you know. I mean, if we don't want a fucking thing in our fucking arm, I'm not gonna say the word. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. If they don't want that thing in our arm, then. I have the right. Yeah, I have the right to say fuck you. Yeah. It's my body, my yeah. choice. What happened to that? I don't understand it. Yeah. It's all it's always a narrative behind shit and it's 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 always two sides and, to a coin. And then I'm 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 gonna stay like I'm gonna state my opinion on the abortion thing that's going on too. Because now like that that's a big deal. You know what I mean? Like I yeah, feel like, like they're allowed to abort after birth. Is that what you're talking about? Like most women don't know that they're pregnant even at six weeks. You feel me? And that's that's kind of that's a big deal. I, I I feel like men shouldn't be putting laws on women's bodies. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like I like that's why there's like a, a lot of like <laughs> arguments online. I haven't said anything about abortions. I haven't argued with anybody. I haven't shared anything because like I can't. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, like I don't know how it is to be pregnant. I don't know how it is to be raped. I don't know how it is to. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of different things that come to it. Like people just think that everybody that goes and gets an abortion is an irresponsible person that just was irresponsible, and now they don't want to deal with the responsibility. And yeah, that's that's some cases. Yeah, but, but I feel like that's a minuscule amount of the cases, bro. Like and, there's a lot of reasons why why people get abortions. Yeah, you know and I, mean? I feel like that's your right. It it's your, your body. Right. It's your body. It's your body. So the same thing with them trying to put that in our arm and the, and 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 the abortions. You know what I mean? I feel like there should be no say in that because this is this is your body and you have every right. If you want to fucking stab yourself in the arm, guess what? You fucking can. I mean, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. But, but you see what I'm. You get my point. Like, it's like it, like I'm gonna do what I want with my fucking body. If I want to tattoo my whole fucking left arm and the government says now nah, you can't do that. Imagine that. Yeah, that that would be excessive. That'd be crazy. But that's where it's headed. It and, is. And it's headed to some crazy. It's headed to some crazy control. But it's just it's easy to control people that are misinformed. Most people don't go really do their own like research. And I'm not talking about YouTube and watching conspiracy theory yeah, and yeah. fucking videos. I'm talking about actually reading. Like you could go look up certain documents that have been declassified and shit like that, and they're public record now. Yep. You know what I mean? But like. I don't know, man. You you just gotta you gotta let people do what they feel is right with their life and their body. To the you know, not letting them, you know, harm anybody else around them or or anything like that. But like like when it comes to that, to the abortion thing, I agree with you, bro. Like, listen, man, it it's a woman's choice. It, it should be a woman's right. Yeah. And um, you know, it's fucked up too, because some some dads have been against it and the woman still did it. And that's where, to me, it gets kind of iffy because it's like, and I feel like a, a dad has just as much of a right as a mom to choose. Like, yeah. women look at that different. Yeah, they look you know? at it different. They're and, like, oh, you and don't I carry. Feel like, yeah, you don't carry the baby. That is very true. Yeah. Men aren't the one that carry it. it it's a, I do feel like there is a different connection between a mom and a son and a dad and a son or a daughter, whatever. You, yeah. know, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's just a difference. Because the you the woman was literally connected to them for nine months. Yeah. Like, they're part of them. So, it's a different type of connection. But it's still messed up. Like, there's a lot of things that dads aren't allowed to fucking... They have no say-so in. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's kind of fucked up, too. But, but yeah, man. Just listen. Men should not be setting women's law like yeah. for anything to do with their fucking body. It's you like, don't understand. It's their like body. women. You're yeah, not- it's like women fucking making a law on men about like, all right, he's not allowed to have kids anymore, or I don't know, just something about our body that we could do that women can't, and they're like, nah, you can't, you can't yeah, do that. It's like, it's like, nah, nah, it's like, nah, you know, you're a woman. Like, what do you know about this? Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we gotta. It has to be. Equal on that part, in my opinion, I think I feel like that's yeah, just facts. Yeah. let the women decide, man. Yeah, let, let the them, women decide. Let them decide. You know? you know, and I'm sure that even then is gonna be is gonna be a fucking debate because there's women that feel both ways about it. Yeah, you know. But and if both parents don't want to be in this in this child's life, both, not one, both, then and she doesn't want to, you know, 
Deal with it. Yeah, not, bro, you know listen, what? You man. saved that kid's fucking life from you not have that have, choice. Yeah. yeah, from being in an orphanage, you're going to a family, or and just finding out later that they're fucking adopted. Like you save them from a lot of different heartache, man, or like toxic behaviors yeah, that you shouldn't have had. You know what I mean? Like yeah. trauma. I certain I I really believe that there are certain kids that that would have been better off not being in that situation, being in the that home environment that they were brought into. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it just you got it, it's a hard decision, but I feel like. Ultimately, like, yeah, leave it up to the women. We yeah. don't know what the fuck we're talking about when it comes to your body. Yeah. So not everyone deserves to be parents either. Yeah, that's a big fucking fact. Yeah. That's a big fact. So don't forget that, guys. You know well, what listen, I mean? Man, you know what I mean? You think yeah, you should get your dick sucked before you eat coochie in the bedroom? Like in a relationship, like getting into a relationship, like you feel yeah. like in the beginning, okay. Um, honestly, like I think it's normal for a woman to to suck a, a man's dick. Before then, a guy eats a cooch, yeah, like I, I think that's kind of normal. I don't know. It depends. Cause uh, yeah, it, I think it happens more often. Yeah, I mean, like, have I done it? Have I fucking ate pussy before? Yeah, yeah, I have. So you've eaten a girl's pussy before she sucked your dick? Not as much as the other way around. Of course. Yeah, you yeah, see what I'm not, saying? Yeah, like I'm, I feel, I'm I feel, I feel like it's normal. I'm you know, some you. women are gonna disagree, but like, there's some women that really enjoy sucking dick. Like, if you moan while you're sucking dick. Yeah, you some des- women des- are freaks, man. You deserve a gold medal after that. Yeah, because like nothing is You're going true, inside. Round of applause yeah. to you. It's not like you round getting- of applause to the moaners. <laughs> the moaners, what? The, the moaners that are, uh, the, the moaners are suckers. Yeah, <laughs> the MJs. The MJs. All right. <laughs> oh no, that was wrong. The yeah, MS. Man, you're fucking this guy over here. <laughs> and now I'm over here fucking following him off the bridge. He's like MJ. Following him Wait, off what? the bridge. I'm what? like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Nah, yeah, man. but now nah, listen, the moaners are different. <laughs> They're different, bro. Yeah, that's that's a that's a different type of breed right there. Yeah, she's a different heathen. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck is that? A fucking heathen. Look it up. I never heard of that she's one. A fucking animal. She's a fucking. She's a. She's fucking, a creature. She's a beast. <laughs> she's a creature. She's a <laughs> cannibal. <laughs> you ever seen that movie? Is it Hannibal or Cannibal? Jeez, my dog be confused a lot. <laughs> I be high not remembering, bro. Yo, bro. So I help I help my dog fucking build this shed, right? But it's like it, it was like halfway done. But like I be forgetting shit, bro. Like I was like, "Yo, did y'all put the window in already?" Because I don't remember. Ass. He's so like, "Bro, it's been Josh shit. it's been in there for a while." <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 y'all ever seen that episode of Drake and Josh when they're building that that tree house that and they get stuck was up epic, there? Bro. <laughs> and he's like, "Wait, wait, so he's like, wait, I was supposed to put the door before." He's like. Bro, how the fuck are we gonna get out? And Megan, they got a fucking ass Megan out of all people. She's like, bro, I'm leaving y'all up there. No, bro, real talk. Real fucking Climb talk. out the window, figure it out. That was fucking hilarious. See, like, that was when real humor was, was in fucking yeah, cartoons. Yeah, those shows are different. And they're not even cartoons. That was a real, like, real people, bro. Yeah, like, it's that like, was a I don't real know. Show. I miss that, too. Like, I don't know why, bro. I get it now. Like, I remember being younger and trying to show my mom shit. My mom's like, it's a, like, she would be more into like the real, like with real people, like the shows are real people than cartoons. And I get it now as an adult. It's like, it's more relatable. Yeah. Like a fucking cartoon, it's a dog talking to a goldfish and the fucking pole comes alive and fucking starts yeah, telling I, shit. Yeah, like, I get, bro, yeah, I get, I get that the dog is talking. That's probably cool. But like Brian from Family Guy on, or some bro. shit, you know what that's, I mean? Again, that's, yeah, that's even normal. that's more realistic yeah. where it's like, it's people, drawings of people, but like. I don't know. There's a lot of cartoons that you're looking at. Like, that's why I was never really able to get into anime. Because I'm looking at it and I'm like, bro, none of this shit is real. Like, my brain works different, bro. I need something realistic that I'm looking at. No. I get uninterested if it's something that my brain can't fucking relate to. And I know. You know what I mean? (laughs) And for real. Bro, and there's a lot of fucking wannabe anime, like, fucking, like, watchers now. Like yeah, they're not, like come they're, on, bro. Like, leave, shout leave, out, hey, shout out to, to the, the OG, OG OGs because I know who OG you are. A, a anime yeah, fucking people, bro. I know y'all motherfuckers been on Naruto and all types of and shit. And I'm not talking Bleach and and you know what I'm saying yeah. Roroni Kenshin. And I remember, bro. I remember hearing so much shit when we were young, like middle school. And those are the OGs, bro. Like they've been on that shit since they was kids, kids. Yeah. Now people are doing it for fad, bro. Yeah, it's, it's a just fad. Like, uh, like you know, I watch anime. All right, well, shit. It's tell like, me, oh, tell me some. Tell me something. Besides fucking Dragon Ball Z Yeah facts And it's not even that If you name something That's cool But like I don't watch it But yeah, I know I, I know I, I'm, I, I'm not into yeah, it Yeah I know who the OGs are Cause yeah, like my cousin and shit I've heard shows yeah. I've heard You know you hear certain shit Death Note and, Like there's certain shit That you hear But it's like I never got It's just it's not just, for me and not, and not come, Yeah it, The only thing me. that I like Is Dragon Ball Z 
And and maybe the Avatar: The Last Airbender, but that's a cartoon. That's not even a yeah. fucking anime. I liked I liked Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid, but I don't know, bro. Like as I got older, I just started outgrowing certain things, man. And like, and not to say that there's anything wrong with being a lifelong fan of Dragon Ball Z, but it's just like, bro, just be yourself. And if you're not like, if you were into it when you were younger, and you're just not into it anymore, just be honest. Just be like, bro, like, yeah, I was into it when I was in middle school, but like, honestly, I just. I'm not, I haven't kept up with it. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, don't, like everybody got to try to fucking fit in with everybody. It's like, bro, like it's okay. Some people aren't gonna like you. Some people aren't gonna be into the same things that you're into, and vice versa. Like, yeah. So, fuck them. Fuck them all. I don't fuck know, man. All. Fuck them. But he, listen, nah. bro. You know who said fuck them all? Oh my god. Is, yeah. Listen. Yeah. Tell me. No, nah, this was, is actually a fucking sad, that, sad, sad story. That bro. was crazy. Right. It's ridiculous, guys. There was a riot in an Ecuador prison. That left 118 inmates killed. Desperate families have gathered at a jail in Ecuador, which police are trying to bring under control after fighting left at least 118 inmates dead. The battle first broke out on Tuesday. The prisoners using explosives and firearms on each other. That's crazy. Holy shit. Where the fuck did these guys? Yo, listen, that's. An inside job. These fucking guards were giving them these shits. Or yeah, something. like th there's no fucking way, bro. There's but no they're, way, they're getting bro. smarter and smarter on how to like. You I know, mean, but technology is getting better and better. At so the it's same like, time, it's in Ecuador. You don't know how the prison was built. You know what I'm saying? Like it oh, could yeah, be like this, one of those. Like, I thought there was. I thought this but, was here in the U.S. No, no, oh, but okay. still, it's like it's nah. still crazy, bro. If that happened in the U.S., that would have been all over the. No, news. no, this would have been world news. Yeah, this would have been. World Families news. are seeking news on loved ones, but. With some victims decapitated or dismembered, identifying the bodies could take days. The gang-related violence is the worst in Ecuador's history. So pretty much these guys, that they're going to have to do a huge investigation into that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's big and that's yeah. bad. And that, that, that either comes down to the, the uh, conditions of the prison where they just got completely fucking tired of this shit. We're like, yo, we've been crying out for months and months and months and months. Now it's time to act. Or it's just, it shows what being fucking, you know, in a, in a prison system does to you, bro. It turns you into something else. Turns you into a you fucking, I mean? you didn't pay. But you that's didn't, scary, like bro. You didn't like, fucking, you didn't fucking pay this guy back with the applesauce that he lent, lent you. You know what I mean? He's like, yo, yeah, I want my applesauce, bro. bro. Like, like what, the what, thing what, is, what the, the thing is too, bro, like prison is the different type of place because you can't run. I know. Like, it's not like out here where you could do something to somebody and go fucking go to the next city and live over there or somewhere else. Yeah. Like, you can move around. Yeah. When you're in prison, you're in prison. And if something like that happens and something breaks out like that, like, before you could escape, you're going to have to deal with the motherfuckers that you owe or the motherfuckers that whatever. You see what I'm saying? Like, they're there. And now they're fucking got knives and they're ready to cut your fucking head off because it's a riot and they already got life. So they don't really give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's crazy. But, you know, our condolences go out to the families in Ecuador. You know, our hearts go out to, to the people that are having to deal with that shit, because those guys, you know, what I'm saying they made mistakes and they're in prison and this and that. But nobody deserves to get that call. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a place where you're thinking like, yo, like. Yeah, it's dangerous, but they're in prison. Like they're at least gonna be kind of safe. You know what I mean? Like that is true. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. man, that's a crazy situation, bro. I, uh, that sucks. Yeah, nah, for that's real. That's not. That's not. Rest that's in peace, one hundred and eighteen or more. Or maybe they deserved it. Maybe they killed all Some the guys molesters. Did, in there. I feel like the guys that got decapitated, they got. Yeah, uh, that's, uh, you did something. You did something, bro. Yeah, yeah. and that's the other thing that the side that people don't see in a lot of those situations, like. The people see the reaction And it's like when you're a kid It's like when you're a kid And the teacher fucking catches you Hitting the kid back that hit you Yeah And now you're in trouble But they're like yo, You're like yo This nigga slapped me In the fucking back of the head And I slapped him In the back of the head And I'm getting caught I'm in trouble So it's kind of like that But again Rest in peace to them Our condolences Go out to the family That sucks But listen man I'll tell you what we sucks. appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. Go down. Leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever hey, it takes. We've been back with another one. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate it. Peace and love. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace and love. Peace and love.